I'm going to show you the next stage of production now, which is to make the arms, tail, ears and mouth using your second sock. So you're going to use this reference sheet here. You can see there's a diagram here um, which shows you how to mark up your second sock to make these parts for your sock monkey. Um, so I'm going to just turn the sock inside out again, make sure it's inside out. So all the messy parts will end up on the inside. And you'll see this is a profile view of the sock here. So it's not like the first sock where we had to flatten it. We've got the heel on the left hand side, toe at the top, open part at the bottom. Now I'm just gonna pop that down and copy the shapes down onto my sock. So I'm gonna put my sock in the same position as it is on that diagram with the toes at the top, profile view, heel is on the left and open part is at the bottom. Just like the first sock where we were marking out the legs, this is similar with the arms. We're gonna just mark out the cut line for the arms down the center, a center cut line. This is the one that you want to avoid because you're gonna sew either side of it for the arms. Then the heel becomes the mouth. So you've got cut line for the mouth and you want to be staying on the inside of your cut lines when you're sewing. So you're not gonna cut through your stitches. Then you're going to do your tail. Now your tail, the cut line for your tail goes from the top of your foot and then halfway down the width, all the way down to the toe at the end. That's going to be the end of your tail at the end. And your ears, this is really important. Please make your ears, your listening parts, as large as possible within that space that you've got there. If you make them too small, they'll become too fiddly to sew. So make those cut marks for your ears as large as possible within that space. Just trying to get them an even consistent size. Okay, so we've got ear. You might not be able to write on yours, especially if you've got dark fabric but I'm just gonna write them here so that you can see. Tail, if you've got dark fabric, fabric you're gonna need to use tailor's chalk to mark it out. Um, or you might find a different way of finding something that works on, on your particular fabric that stands out to you that you can see. So mouth and then arms. Some people have found that highlighters work. So we've marked that out there exactly like the diagram and the next part is to sew on the inside of those cut, li cut lines and then I'll show you how to cut them out. Don't cut out the shapes before you sew it, that's the whole easy thing about this is that you sew it first, you cut around it and then you've got your pieces already made.